Hi there, and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. My dear friend Lucas is joining me today. In oh. fact, <laughs> in fact, I've given Lucas a lot of great tips cooking, haven't I? Oh yeah, over the years. Lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, Lucas absolutely loves cooking. Um, we're great friends. In fact, Lucas looks after my business here in Edinburgh. So I'm here in my Edinburgh kitchen cooking and Lucas is joining me. He saw me making the red Thai pork curry yesterday. Oh yes, I and did. He and yeah. he was quite amazed that I didn't fry the meat first and he said I didn't realize that you cooked the meat in the coconut milk. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna give that a whirl and it's wine o'clock. Cheers. Cheers Lucas. Thank you Lucas Cheers. for a glass of wine. <laughs> We always like a wee glass of wine. I hope so a few people come on. Yeah, there's one or two people coming on now. The, the video wasn't viewed very much uh, last night, so I was a wee bit disappointed in that. So hoping that this video is a little bit more well received. But uh, I'm gonna give you a few more tips with the, um, because Lucas is watching as well and he's never cooked this dish before. Uh, I'm gonna give you a few more tips with this as we go along. Um, the red curry paste, I did a video, so you can go down in Mary's Kitchen and you can check out the video. Now, I was doing it in my little uh, little tiny Magimix yesterday, okay? And uh, to be honest with you, uh, it didn't really mash it up as good as I would have liked. So if you have a Nutribullet, I would strongly advise you to use that. Of course, if you want to do the traditional Thai method, you need the big pestle and mortar for the bash, bash, bashing. You need that for the papaya salad as well, if you're ever making that, because you've got to get all the flavors in there. So there's a few people coming on now. Say hello, please, in the comments, so we know you're there. And um, anyway, what we're going to cook now, so I, early this morning... When I got up, I made some more red Thai curry paste because I wanted Lucas to try this. And as I said, making it in the Nutribullet, right? Now, Lucas made me, uh, what was it, the Thai? The green curry. Oh, uh, the green curry last week. Absolutely delicious, wonderful, but he actually bought the green curry paste to make it, which was fine. And it really tasted delicious, and I suggested because he's spent a lot of, an awful lot of money on it to put the balance of it in the freezer so we could use it because we got some friends coming over for a Thai meal Maria and Katie and OC uh, they cooked us a wonderful Thai meal up at their place it was absolutely fabulous so we're planning to get them back here and, and uh, make one for them as well oh, anyway so I got the red curry paste here and what I'm going to do with this initially uh, probably initially I'm going to have a little glass little taste of my wine. <laughs> <laughs> I bought these new lovely seats for my kitchen. So I'm here in my kitchen in Edinburgh, in case you're thinking, where the heck is she? <laughs> <laughs> Bobbing around from kitchen to kitchen. I sometimes cook in my friend's kitchens as well. So, you know, it uh, the kitchen scenery in the background can change somewhat. So who's there? Peggy! Peggy's my table tennis pal. Peggy, I did have my top on, my Dunbar table tennis top on, but I just took it off. So anyways, Peggy's my great friend at table oh. tennis. She's a good player. Peggy, you're a very good player. You're getting great. Sue, how are you? Good to see you. Good, good girls. Keep coming on. I'm spending a bit more time. Yesterday's uh, video didn't get too many hits, and I was a wee bit disappointed because really... Um, I went to Thailand, not to go on about Thailand, Thailand all the time, but uh, I went to a wonderful introduction to Thai cooking and I got this oh, wonderful Thai chef. Absolutely beautiful. My friends Lauren and Irving went as well. Oh, we learned so much and we made some beautiful dishes um, and <clears throat> learned some different vegetables. Like even I went into one of my very unusual vegetable, vegetable shops and this is a little a mini baby eggplant it's uh this is what we can use in thai cooking they also have it in asian cooking because i went into the asian supermarket today too and they have a slightly longer one i was asking a couple of girls in the shop they were buying it and i was asking them about it and it's very very similar and the reason for using this type of egg plant the flesh is such that it really, really absorbs the sauce, okay? So you're going to get a wonderful flavor, just like in a mushroom as well. 
So that's the eggplant. Now they also, there's another eggplant used in Thailand. It's called Makuri Pu, Pu, Puang. And it's like a little tiny pearls of eggplant and it, like it grows in a grape form. Okay, which is a wonderful uh, one to get as well to add to your curry. So anyway, we're back here again because I wanted to make this for Lucas tonight, making the red curry with the pork. All right, I've already got my... Uh, my uh, paste, my red curry paste done. It's all ready. Th these are pretty standard ingredients that go into these things, but I would imagine that every home has their own way of making things, just like uh, garam masala. Every family has their own garam masala recipe. So anyway, if you're coming on, do say hi, because we're lonely in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I thought the gorgeous Lucas would add a little attraction to the video this evening. <laughs> Maybe a few more women would come on and say hello. <laughs> and I got my chair to sit in. I bought these brand new chairs for my kitchen bar. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Cooking so chair. My cooking chair. <laughs> yeah, and it swivels around. So it's absolutely terrific. So I'm just being a lazy chef today. So anyway, we're going to start um, <clears throat> first just by heating the pan. Oh, it might help if I turn on my gas. Yeah, yeah let's do that first. Okay, so this is a great uh, range that I have here. And you don't see me cooking on this that, that often, but I really love cooking here, and I like to do my videos in here as well because it's, there's plenty of space and plenty of room to do everything. First thing I'm going to do is normally what I do is I put the coconut milk in, and then I mix some of my red uh, curry paste into the coconut milk. So I'm going to, first of all, just give it a little, little sizzle, okay? Just to enhance the flavor of, I'm going to put about two and a half tablespoons of the red curry paste in there. You can always add a little bit later on if you really, really want. Is everybody shy because nobody's saying hi? <laughs> I know some people are on there watching. So anyway, we're just going to let that cook just for a second or two. And uh, <clears throat> Lucas, what have you... Wooden spoon. Um, I'm just going to use that. Ah. I probably shouldn't use that, but... Oh, I will use a wooden spoon, Lucas. You're probably right. Maybe that one, eh? I'll use that flat one. There we go. This is an exceedingly well-equipped kitchen, isn't it, Lucas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show me your salad. Bring oh. your salad over. Lucas made this earlier. Nothing to do with Thai cooking. He <laughs> no, it's not Thai at all. <laughs> no. He had a red cabbage left over, and he's made this absolutely, I mean, mm, beautiful red cabbage salad. Oh, in fact, we're going to have some of that with it's our not, meal. It's not coleslaw, no. Hi, Marianne. Hi, it's not coleslaw. Chris, how are you? Chris, my current and my friend, who's just got herself a brand new van, Woody. I can't wait to see it, Chris. Okay, I'm just cooking this red pie curry paste just a little bit to get the flavors, and you can smell it oh, already, yeah, right? Mm, beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add some coconut milk, about a quarter of a tin. Maybe even about a half a tin. I'll tell you why. Because I've got quite a bit of pork here. Okay, so unusual, right? We didn't fry the pork first. We're going to actually cook the pork in the coconut milk. Now, Chris, I know you're a vegetarian. You can do this with a whole bunch of vegetables. All right? So you don't have to use the pork. I need... Um, I don't want to touch the pork with my hands, so I have to wash my hands again. Okay, because I just washed my hands, so I'll just scoop that in there. There we go. That makes life easy. There. So we're just going to cook the pork in there a little bit. And it, now I'm using, and Chris, you want to pay attention to this, from the co-op, they have their own, the big co-op that we go to in Dunbar. Yeah, <clears throat> this can all be done, Chris. As you see here, I've got red peppers, I've got mushroom, I've got kaffir lime leaves, I've got the, my baby aubergines, my baby Thai aubergines. Use uh, 
Um, Lucas, look in that back bag there. There's a purple, purple aubergine. Yeah, you could you can cut this up as well, and put that in. All right, and peppers, <clears throat> whatever color. This recipe is great, a great vegetarian dish as well. But obviously, we're doing the pork here today, because my friend Lucas here, I call him Death by Meat. <laughs> <laughs> He took me to Poland once, and um, where was it? Zakopane yeah. we went. The Polish and, mountain, yeah. Oh, the Polish mountains, and the and the restaurants were just full of hanging meat to put on the barbecue. It was unbelievable. So who's that? Janice? I'm fine. Oh, that's okay, Janice. I'm glad to see you today commenting. Sometimes I think I'm sitting here by myself if nobody comments, but that's really nice that you're here today. Anyway, this is going to be a much video, better video than what yesterday's was because we're um, a little few more tips here, and Chris has just got a tip on how to make turn this into a vegetarian. I'm going to add a little half cup of water to this because the Thai coconut milk, I don't know if you buy coconut milk sometimes and it's very watery. I don't like that. This is beautiful stuff. This really, really works. It's a ticket. I went in there to buy about 12 cans of it today and they only had one left. So somebody else knows about it. I'm going to put a little water in there, Lucas, just so <clears throat> it's not so thick. I can always add a little bit more water later, so don't go crazy. Maybe the, the lid there, Lucas, I'll put the lid on yes. just to keep the heat in here. And so we're just, now what I'm cooking there is, thanks very much. Uh, what I'm cooking is the pork fillet. So it's very, very tender in the first place, okay? I've really cut it paper thin. So it's going to cook uh, quickly in the coconut milk. So we've got it in there with the water. And just let that cook for a few minutes while we're doing our... Thomas, how are you? Thomas, this is my friend Lucas. Thomas is another table tennis friend. <laughs> Enjoyed having a game. He's a very good player, too. Enjoyed having a game with you today, Thomas. You did well. <laughs> You did very, very well, so <clears throat> great. Okay, so anyway, Chris, how's Woody doing? I saw you took him down to Ely. And you're allowed to have a glass of wine, Chris, with uh, your vegetarian food. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Also going to put some pak chow in this. Chris, at the end, I'm, I don't want to overcook that, so I haven't even cut it up yet. I'm going to put that in at the end. I'm uh, just checking my lovely Thai recipe here, just to make sure I want to get everything in at the right time. Okay, we're just about there. Uh, just let's make sure. See, it doesn't take long to cook. It's already almost cooked, mm. Lucas, right? And of course, you get the lovely, lovely flavors of the red curry paste coming through the coconut milk there. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to add some more goodies here. I'm going to add my little baby eggplant, and I showed you that. That's the, from the Thai shop. Okay, little baby eggplants, hard to find. And also, if you can find the little pearl ones, so they're, they're very difficult to find, though. You really need to go to an Asian supermarket for that, if you're looking for that. So I'll put the eggplants in because they take a little longer to cook. I'm going to put my kaffir lime leaves. Now, I've got about four kaffir lime leaves here, fresh. I bought them at the Asian supermarket. This is great, sitting down cooking. Yeah. I, I, could grow, I actually could grow quite used to this. <laughs> this is superb. Anyway, I got these in the Asian supermarket as well, the Thai supermarket. I'm going to put them in. You can rip them. You must rip them up, okay, to get the, flavor. the aroma. Yeah, to get the flavor out of them, the aromatics. Get the aromatics out of them. Really beautiful. And I'll tell you, um, although I did make a similar dish, it was pork Thai curry yesterday. I um, left it a little bit long in the pan, just sitting, not on heat. And oh my goodness, the flavors mm. just went crazy in the pot. Absolutely developed really, really, really well. The next thing I'm going to put in there is I'm going to put my mushrooms. Because again, mushrooms are the flesh. They really, really soak up the flavor of the sauce. All right, see how pretty this is looking now? I think I'll just bring you in just to show you. There, you can see the colors coming together. Wait till I get the red pepper in there. 
There we go. Just let that cook away for a little bit. Okay. What do you think? So we're going to make this for our friends who uh, made us a beautiful time meal, those girls. Eh? Oh, yeah, they went great, crazy. Yeah. They went absolutely crazy making us some real good stuff there. Just let that cook for a minute. All right. And then we're going to put our red pepper in next. And what to do is cut your red pepper quite small, like Julianne's. All right. All right, mine's never perfect, but it doesn't matter. Nobody's, we're not testing to see how well you cut your peppers. All right, we're just about finished here, you know. We haven't got too much more to do. So after we put our mushrooms in, because we're not going to eat right away. We're going to cook this now to show you. Is that somebody at the door? No, that's the guest. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we're not going to... Um, we're not going to, uh, I've got a guest house here. So, of course, sometimes there's, we hear noises in the background. I'm just going to put the uh, <laughs> red peppers in here. You can put another chili in, but there's a lot of uh, chili in my red curry paste here. I put quite a bit of chili in. All right. And <clears throat> I normally would put a whole red pepper, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put the pat chai. All right. This, take long to cook, no? this takes no. no time to cook at all. Mm -hmm. This, in fact, to be honest with you, to eat this raw, well, absolutely delicious. I love it. Mm. Very crunchy. Can you put that in salad? Mm. You can cut oh, this yeah. up very finely and put it in salad. It's great. Well, we're gonna put some pak choy in here. Um, put the green leaves as well because that's going to give us some nice color. Make sure the base is, doesn't matter. It's nice to find a wee base like that in your meal. I like that. <laughs> okay, so I'll just cut that off. That's doing beautifully. I'm going to add some more coconut milk here. I don't want to add this too quickly because, there we go. Now I'm going to add some fresh basil, get Thai basil if you can, it's slightly different, it has a more kind of licorice taste to it. I'm going to add a little bit of basil here, alright, and then I'm going to add some, uh, we're going to top our dish. And I'll tell you another little thing, a little, another little tip that you'll absolutely love that I did yesterday. Crushed up some beautiful cashew nuts. I bought from Asda with no salt on them or anything, and I crushed them up in my pestle and mortar, and I sprinkled that on top of my dish when it was finished, along with some fresh basil. Wow, wow, really good. Okay, so I'll put that in, because we're looking for intense flavors. There we go. I might not need to put any more coconut milk in, but that's fine. Okay, now come and have a look now. Come and have a look now and see what we're doing. How's that? I wish you could smell this. I wish we had smell mm. vision. You're off to Peebles. Good, you like Woody. I'm glad. And hello, Jen from Florida. Lovely to see you. Oh, great. Peebles will be fun, Chris. Okay, so we've got that all in there now. A couple more things. We're going to put their pack chow. Okay, it looks like a lot, but rest assured, it goes down. So once you make the red Thai curry paste, Chris, you can keep it in your fridge for about six weeks. So this is a really superb paste to carry in Woody. And put it in, because I know how much Mark likes to cook. Put it in the van, in the fridge, and uh, you can make this dish quite simply on your gas cooker. Um, <clears throat> Chris and Mark are great motor homers and they've just got themselves a slightly smaller van, which will be nice for them. Now, we've got a couple, two more ingredients to put in, okay? We can't forget about our fish sauce. It's about a tablespoon or two tablespoons. It's to taste. So if you, if you want more in, put more in. One, two, all right. And the next one we're going to put in is some lovely palm sugar. I don't know if you've ever tried to try that, Lucas. No. 
I never hit it like this. I never hit it like this. Try it. Tastes like caramel. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mm. Tastes like, like a caramel fudge mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, like fudge, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. So, we're going to put about a tablespoon of that. I, I broke it up a wee bit before it came on. And if it's not enough, mmm. I can put a tiny bit more in. So, that's our palm sugar in there. Is that from the Thai shop? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. from the Thai shop as well. If you look at it, you won't find that in a supermarket, in a regular supermarket. So you'd have to go to the Thai shop to get that. And fish shop, you can get fish sauce, you can get in the supermarket. Um, but again, you can get it in most Asian cooking shops. So what do you think of this now? Mm. Is that looking good or what? Oh yeah, looking so good. Yeah. It smells so good. Yeah. So. And the time is just, you know, it's... The time is... 20 minutes. Yeah, that's it. 20 minutes. Here, take a spoon, you can have a little taste. Remember, no double dipping, so we always have two spoons. Mind you, we double dip plenty of times. What do you think? Mmm. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really feel good. Like, feel like in Thailand. I know, in Thailand. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is really, really good. So, Anyways, thank you, Virginia. Virginia, you came on yesterday, and I really, really appreciate it. There wasn't very many hits on the video yesterday for some reason. I didn't understand. I'm going to put a little bit more sugar in, believe it or not, Lucas. Uh, palm sugar. Um, because I can just taste. It just needs a little touch more. I might even put a little touch more. So the palm sugar and the fish sauce are really to taste to your own taste buds. Get that all dissolved in there. I'm obviously going to post a picture of this once we serve it up um, because it's going to look really, really pretty when it's done. I'm just going to have another little piece of that. Might put a little touch more fish sauce in. Oh! Oh my <laughs> God! Oh! That is so good! That's so good! Oh. Oh. Well, I don't think you can get it that good even in a Thai restaurant. So you're just catching me today, I I Brenda. Eat, I can eat this without, without rice. I know. Yeah. But we'll have some rice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lucas is actually very, very good at making rice. He actually taught me how to make large batches of rice, which is to put the rice in a pot with lots of water. And bring it up to a boil, cook it what for five, seven minutes? Well, and then add some uh, oil. Oh, you add a little bit of oil? Yeah. And then you rinse it, put it in baggies, and then when you put it in the microwave, it cooks for two or three more minutes. So it's kind of a nice, a neat way to do it. You could freeze it, couldn't you? You can freeze the rice if you wanted to in a baggie. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you yeah. can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. You can freeze it. So there you go. <laughs> That's the, 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 uh, red Thai pork curry again. You're in Scotland in July. Oh, Brenda, let me know. Let me know where you're going to be, okay? So you're going to be in Edinburgh, obviously. So this is us. Lucas coming from Mary's Kitchen in Edinburgh tonight. I hope you've enjoyed our little um, wine o'clock video. And thanks for coming and joining us. Really appreciate it. Lots of love. Take care. Bye. Any questions, put them in the comments. Even if you, you think Lucas is so handsome and you want to date him. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>